Now let us learn about cross pollination. What is cross pollination? The transfer of pollens on stigma of another flower. Adhe poole pollen transfer agama adutta pooda stigma la transfer ana adu cross pollination. Can you understand? It is of two types. The first one is gaitanogamy. The next one is xenogamy. When the pollen deposits on another flower of same plant, it is called gaitanogamy. It occurs in monoecious plants. Functionally, it is cross pollination. That is, where a pool is stigma, the pollen grain deposit. But it is similar to autogamy because pollen deposits on stigma of the same plant. Where a pool is deposit, it is cross pollination. That is, plant where a pool is deposit, it is autogamy. And these flowers are genetically identical. Genetically, it is the the next one is xenogamy. When pollen deposits on another flower of different plant of same species, it is called xenogamy. Pollen grain, adhe enatha cherandha innoor plant la irukkara poola deposit aana adhukku peru xenogamy. Gaitanogamy la adhe plant la irukkara innoor poola pollen deposit aahu. Xenogamy la bear plant la irukkara poola pollen deposit aahu and the plant Adhavadu, for example, hibiscus plant is pollen. That is the hibiscus plant. This is the xenogamy. And these flowers are genetically different. So, gaitanogamy and xenogamy are the two types of cross pollination. If pollination occurs between two flowers of the same plant, it is called gaitanogamy. If pollination occurs between two flowers of the different plants of same species, it is called xenogamy. Okay, now we are going to learn about the adaptations seen in plants for cross pollination. Before learning this, we must know the difference between bisexual and unisexual flowers and monoecious and dioecious plants. If both male and female sex organs are present in the same flower, it is called bisexual flower. Example, the well-known flower hibiscus. If male and female sex organs are seen in separate flowers, it is called unisexual flower. Example, pumpkin. The male flower is called staminate and the female flower is called pistillate. Each flower has only one sex organ. So, it is called unisexual flower. Uni means one. Now, monoecious. If both unisexual flowers are seen in the same plant, it is called monoecious plant. Example, again pumpkin. The single plant has both staminate and pistillate flowers. Next one is Dioecious. If staminate and pistillate flowers are seen in separate plants, it is called dioecious. Example, papaya. In papaya, male plant has staminate flowers and the female plant has pistillate flowers. Okay, I think you have understood. We will see the contrivances of cross pollination. The adaptations or mechanisms seen in flowers of plants for cross pollination are called contrivances of cross pollination or outbreeding devices. They are dicliny or unisexuality and monocliny or bisexuality. Let us see dicliny or unisexuality. You know self pollination occurs only in bisexual flowers because both the six organs are present in the same flower itself. So, it is easy to transfer the pollen from male sex organ to female sex organ. But if the flowers are unisexual, that is, if the flower has only one sex organ, whether male or female, the transfer of pollen must be from the other flower. So, only cross pollination is possible in unisexual flowers. So, dicliny 
or unisexuality is the first adaptation. There are two types in this unisexuality. They are monoecious and dioecious. Let us see monoecious. If male and female flowers are seen in the same plant, it is called monoecious. Example, coconut, bitter gourd, castor and maize. In castor and maize, gaitanogamy takes place. That is, pollination occurs in same plant but from the different flowers. That is from another flower. There is no chance of getting pollen from the same flower because of the location of their sex organs. The next one in dicliny is dioecious. Here, the unisexual flowers, that is, male and female flowers are seen in different plants. Example, Borasus, Panaymaram, Carica papaya, papaya tree, date palm, periche. Here, both autogamy and gaitonogamy are prevented. That is, male and female flowers, thani thani plant la irukkaradunala, it will get pollen from the other plant of same species. So, when the flowers are unisexual, only cross pollination is possible. But cross pollination occurs in bisexual flowers too. These flowers have some special adaptations because these flowers have more chances for self pollination as they have both sex organs in same flower. So, to avoid self pollination, these flowers have some special adaptations. It is called monocliny or bisexuality. There are four adaptations seen in bisexual flowers for cross pollination. They are dichogamy, hercogamy, heterostyly, and fourth one self sterility or self incompatibility. The first one is dichogamy. You already know this. Anthers and stigmas mature at different times in bisexual flowers. So, pollination does not take place in same flower. That is, there is no self-pollination. It is of two types, protandry and protogyny. If stamens mature earlier, it is called protandry. Prona, munala, andry denotes andrisium. Example, helianthus, that is sunflower. Next example is Clerodendrum, Tamil la Siru Teku. If stigma matures earlier than the stamens, it is called protogyny. Example, Scrofularia nodosa. The next example is Aristolochia bracteata, Tamil la Aduthinna Palai. Then, the second adaptation in bisexuality is Hercogamy. அதாவது தனி படுத்துதல் தமிழ்ல தனி படுத்துதல் அர்த்தம் அதாவது கொரோனாவுக்கு சோஷியல் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் மெயின்டெயின் பண்ற மாதிரி இதுவும் தனியா இருக்கும் சோ here arrangement of sex organs make self pollination impossible example gloriosa superba தமிழ்ல செங்காந்தல் மலர்னு சொல்வாங்க கவிஞர்கள் வந்து பெண்களோட கை விரல்களுக்கு இதை உதாரணமா சொல்லுவாங்க ஐ ஷோ திஸ் ஃப்ளவர் இன் கிளாஸ் ரூம் லாஸ்ட் இயர் ஹியர் த ஸ்டைல் இஸ் ரீஃப்ளெக்ஸ்ட் அவே ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்டேமெண்ட்ஸ் அதாவது ஸ்டைலு ஸ்டைலாக வேற பக்கம் பூவை விட்டு திரும்பி விலகி இருக்கும் கேர்ள்ஸ் ஹியர் ஆஃப்டர் வென் யூ சீவ் யூர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் யூ மஸ்ட் ரிமெம்பர் க்ளோரியோசா சூப்பர்பா அண்ட் ஹெர்கோகாமி த நெக்ஸ்ட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஸ் ஹைபிஸ்கஸ் In hibiscus, the stigmas project far above the stamens. Stigma, stamen avittu, mele dhoorama irukkaradu nala, adhe poola irukkara stamen, stigma ala deposit agad. So, it is get pollinated from the other flower. The third adaptation in bisexuality is heterostyly. Hetero means different. So, heterostyly means different forms of style. Okay, let us see what it is. Some plants produce two or three different forms of flower with respect to the length of stamens and style. Here, presence of style is different. Note this point. 
pollination occurs only between the organs of same length but here the length of the sex organs is different so self pollination is not taking place the heterostyly is of two types they are distyly and tristyly you know the meaning of di and tri if the plants produce two forms of flowers it is called distyly if the plants produce three forms of flowers it is called tristyly at first let us learn about distyly example primula it produces two forms of flowers one is pin or long style long stigmatic papillae short stamens and small pollen grains another one is thrum eyed or short style small stigmatic papillae long stamens and large pollen grains in these flowers the stigma of thrum eyed flower and the anther of pin lie in same level like this the anther of thrum eyed and stigma of pin are in same height so pollination occurs between these two flowers not in the same flower the next one is tristyly example lithrum here the plant produces three kinds of flowers with respect to the length of style they are long style normal style and short style long styled flower has short and middle stamens normal style flower has long and short stamens short styled flower has long and middle stamens pollination occurs between the sex organs of same length so the flower with long style can get pollinated by the flowers with long stamens the flower with normal style can get pollinated by the flowers with middle stamens the flower with short style can get pollinated by the flowers with short stamens so each flower does not get pollinated by the same flower itself they will depend on other forms of flowers for pollination the pollen from one type of flower can pollinate only the other types not their own type so self pollination is prohibited the last adaptation in bisexuality is self sterility or self incompatibility adavadu tamil la tan malattu thanmai example abutilon and passiflora the pollen grain of flower is unable to germinate its own stigma but it can germinate on stigma of other flowers of same species so here also self pollination is prohibited the self sterility is its genetic character so dicliny or unisexuality and monocliny or bisexuality are the two types of adaptations seen in flowers for cross pollination dicliny includes monoecious and dioecious monocliny includes dicogamy hercogamy heterostyly and self sterility or self incompatibility dicogamy is of two types they are protandry and protogyny heterostyly is of two types they are distyly and tristyly children i hope you understood in next class we will learn agents of pollination thank you children